Hi everyone, this week's grammar topic is colons, so let's just start off with what is a colon. It looks like two periods, or half of an old school smiley face, and the name makes sense related to semicolons if you think about it. So semi means half, so that's why a semicolon looks like half of a colon, because it has part period, part comma. So these can be somewhat confusing, sometimes people forget the name for a semicolon or a colon, so just think about this trick where semi means half, and that should help. There are a few rules for how to use semicolons, or colons rather, sorry. The first rule for how to use a colon is that you can use it to list items. If you do that, you put the colon after the description of what you're listing and before the actual list itself. Usually this happens for longer lists. It can happen for shorter lists, but it's more common for longer lists. Like in the example, where it says we've read seven books slash plays this year, colon, the Stranger, The Book Thief, A Doll's House, The Alchemist, Life of Pi, Things Fall Apart, and The Merchant of Venice. Our second rule, and this also applies to the first rule, is that a colon has to follow an independent phrase or clause. It has to come after an independent phrase or clause. However, the part that comes after a colon can be dependent. It does not have to be independent like it does for a semicolon. So for example, good example, PMA has two spring sports, colon, track slash field, and softball, all right? This colon works here because the part that comes before it is independent. It could stand on its own. You could say PMA has two spring sports, and that would be a complete sentence. A bad example of this would be PMA has two spring sports, which are, colon, track and field, and softball. This doesn't work for a colon because you can't use just this first part on its own. You can't just say PMA has two spring sports, which are, that's, that's not a complete sentence. It doesn't work. So this is not a good example. This is a good example. So the difference we've already kind of talked about, with a semicolon, the two phrases both have to be independent. But with a colon, the phrase following the colon will most likely be dependent, meaning that only the first part will be independent.